rather than make something that would be a spectacle for people to look at, we made something that people have to walk by in order for it to function. So it's almost like a big flip book coming down from 70th Street and coming up. If you look at each figure, it tumbles over and over and over until they gather at Dante's feet and then Dante himself is covered with a constellation of stars. But instead of emphasizing any uh, divinities or, or, or religious holidays, we, we sort of went with the very earliest idea of uh, ethereal uh, divine figures, which are the constellations of the stars. Uh, the idea that it gives people a sense of hope and, and resiliency and, it, you know, it's not an event. So they're just going to walk along Broadway and all of a sudden they might look left and they'll stumble on one of these figures. But it's not about, like, fascination. It's not a light show. And every time you walk by it, it looks different to you. And only you can see it that way. No other person can stand in your shoes. And that's kind of part of all of my work. I think one of the things they thought about was the Aztec figures a little bit. They're stick figures, basically. And then they're powder coated. So, you know, this was a big undertaking. We came up with tumbling brights uh, after a kind of long search of names because it, it, it sort of expresses the lightness and the ethereal quality and also somewhat intelligence. You know, brights has to do with spirit and intellect and vitality. They're absolutely beautiful and it'll be lit. It's a projection, a celestial design that again, um, Seth created, there's a gobo on the projectors, and it'll be up for three months, and I'm already thinking ahead to next year. We need more of these figures, and I think the designers were inspired by the fact that this is a neighborhood that symbolizes art and culture.